It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to try something from America. We're going to try Manwich Thick and Chunky Sloppy Joe Sauce. So we're going to make a Sloppy Joe Burger out of this. Um, I've got some minced meat. I've got some bread rolls. So the first thing they want you to do is fry the mince. So fry the mince, mix the sauce in, make the burger, try it. Let's get started. Okay, so I have terrible trouble with these stainless steel frying pans. They always stick on me. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil in the pan first, just to... I just have trouble with them. They just... They're meant to be... Just opening the steak mince. They're, they're supposed to be non-stick, but... They're not as good as the Teflon ones, but then again, the Teflon ones, well, they're a bit dodgy in their own right, isn't they? So, we'll crack on with this stainless steel frying pan, but we'll just put a bit of oil in just to hopefully stock, stop it sticking. So, frying the mince. Ghost, you can just hear it now, just warming up a little bit. I could have pre warmed the pan first, but I don't think it makes much difference. There you go, so I'm just going to let that fry off now, and then we'll add the, the manwich sloppy joe sauce. So we're just about ready to add the Manwich Sloppy Joe sauce, I've browned the mince. I was tempted to add an Oxo, a British style Oxo cube, just to make this a little bit of a British style Sloppy Joe. But then I thought, no, let's have the authentic Sloppy Joe sauce. So here it is. Um, it, it smells like, it smells a little bit like chili con carne. There you go. Oh wow, that smells delicious. That smells really good. It's like um it's like a bolognese sauce. Mind you, this is gonna be sloppy. This is gonna be some sloppy burger this is I've never seen anything quite like it I'm sure you Americans out there watching are thinking to yourselves oh you know you need to add a bit of this you need to add a bit of that but um, I've got no clue really I've got no clue as to as to what to add because this is the first time I'm trying it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it for what it is I'm gonna try it as a naked kind of product without adding any grated cheese or Anything like that. Uh, what is it? it? It mainly is tomato puree, um, corn syrup, distilled vinegar, um, sugar, salt, dried onions, dried green and bell peppers, carrot fibre, chilli pepper, spices and natural flavours. Garlic powder. It's very, very much like a bolognese sauce. Did we get in the UK? Smells like it. It's gonna make for some sloppy burger though. That looks ready to me. Let's get it in the burger. Okay, here we go then. I did butter my roll. I mean, how much of this do you put in before? It's like too much, that's plenty. I still got half the 
half the pan there, but that, oh, 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 that's going to make for some sloppy Joe burger. Let's, let's try it. Okay, here we go then. This is going to be the messiest thing I think I've ever eaten on the channel. Look at that. It's spilling out the sides already. This is going to be so messy. I'm going to lose a lot of this in the sink, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mmm. It's like a wet bolognese sandwich. Tasty though, loads of garlic. I'm thinking like, you know, I'm gonna lose this bit on my finger over here. And there's just no way of getting away from it. Do they serve these in like American restaurants? And if so, how do they keep them together? I haven't even got room to, it's all over my hands, it's all over my face. I've got no room, I've got nothing to clean myself up with. Messiest thing I've ever eaten. Messiest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Tell you what though. It ain't half tasty. I get it. It's a... Uh, it, it, I mean, if you're watching in Europe, it's, it's a spaghetti bolognese without the pasta. It's, it's a beef bolognese sandwich. Um, to my American viewers, where does this come from? Is it a South, you know, not, not like South South America, like Mexico, but is it, is it like a California thing or where, where does this sloppy Joe originate? Now I've got it under control, it's blooming tasty. The mince is great. It's very spicy. No, 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 no. No, not very spicy. Very spicy is the wrong word. There's chilli in here. It's quite a vinegary, vinegary, tomatoey, garlicky kind of... messy thing. I'm going to have to have a shower after this. Mmm. <laughs> i tell you what I found it. Can you remember a few months back I did the um, hamburger helper. The hamburger helper. Well I bought this at the same time. It's taken me quite a while to get round to it. I just like the look of it. I think I prefer the hamburger helper, in all honesty. I think I prefer that. This is nice. This is nice, but you could just mix that in, in with a... a bolognese. And pasta. It's like a bolognese sauce. Different things though. Different things to try in life, different things to experience in life, you know. 
rather than the same old mundane stuff let's try some new stuff that's what we like to do on the channel <laughs> nearly gone really interesting really interesting I'm a man of the world I'm a man of the world I'll try anything from anywhere um Look how much is in there. Can you imagine how much mess that's going to make? The amount of sloppy Joe sauces in that burger. That's going to go everywhere. That's impossible. You must have to like cradle it a certain way so it spills out all over your hands. And then like it's, it's just going to spill out all over your face then though, isn't it? Uh, interesting stuff, um, rather filling, rather tasty, loads of garlic, loads of vinegar, like a lot of vinaigrette sauce in this, um, in this sauce, a lot of tomato, garlic, spices, yeah, pretty decent thing, um, I, I don't think I'd buy it again though, <laughs> it's just a bit too messy for me, <laughs> but I, I'd like to stand here and tell you that I tried it, you know, and had a go at it myself. I'd love to. I'd love your comments. Comments in the comments box down below. Let me know. You know what you think of um, of this sloppy Joe sauce and whether whether you're going to give it a go or if you're watching from America. <coughs> pardon me. Let me know how you make your sloppy Joe. Do you add cheese with it? Um, do you wrap sellotape around the edge of the bun so it don't spill out? <laughs> right. Um, I like that enough to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.